Hello friends, in this session we are going to learn how to push Maven packages to GitLab package registry. So let's go. So today's session we will start with the what is package registry in GitLab. So see here, GitLab package registry is feature within GitLab that allows you to store and manage various types of software packages and artifacts. It serves as centralized location for storing, versioning, and distributing these packages, making it easier for development team to collaborate and share the code across the project. Means what? It's a package register server as centralized repository, okay? For storing and distributing software packages and dependencies. Its primary purpose is to facilitate the management, discovery, and distribution of the software component in various programming languages and technology ecosystem. So let's take one example for that regarding. So in the XYZ company, there are so many developers are working and they are working on one project and in that project number of modules he will make. Okay. So in the first module, its version is 1.1. Okay. Its, its functionality is all right and functionality is goes smoothly. Okay. But in another module means second module it's added new functionality and it's old functionality but because of some new functionalities that's why first models of that functionality is not working properly because of some issues okay then developer go back to first version and check these dependencies codes and all that okay and this functionality he will use in the, this model okay means what we can check the in the in that package registry we can check the previous models of that version okay previous models of that version developer can see the all the dependencies and codes okay and he can see how its work functionality goes on smoothly okay so let's see here, GitLab package registry supports the varieties of package, package types, including but not limited. Here, variety of packages types, Maven packages, NPM packages, Docker images, RubyGem, Python packages, generic packages. Okay, all these variety of packages. So today's session, we will see Maven packages. Okay. And other packages we will see in the coming lectures. Okay. Next one. Key benefit of using GitLab package registry. It includes centralization, versioning, access control and integration. So see these key benefits. We will see step by step. So centralization. All your packages are stored within the GitLab. Okay. Makes it easy to access and manage them in one place means on that GitLab we can access only one place and it's versioning you can version your packages ensure that you have control version which version of package is used in pro project so in previous example we will see Access control, GitLab allows you to control who can access and publish packages, ensuring security and compliance. And last key point is integration. It seamlessly integrates the GitLab CI/CD pipelines and allowing you to automate the build, test and deployment of your packages. So see here, now we can steps of the, how to push the, maven packages to gitlab package registry okay so let's see for the steps how to access the token in gitlab so let me open this browser and here i have already logged in with the gitlab account okay 
and in that GitLab account, I have one pro repository or project GitLab package registry Java main. And in that repository, I have few files like a SRC, POM XML, and this. Okay. So see here, first step is to access the token in GitLab. So for that, you have to go inside this repository and click on this settings and go inside this access token and simply you have to add the new token click on this and give here token name as a deops hint you can give the name as your requirement and you can select the expiration date and select the role i will select the owner okay and after that select the scope I will select all the scopes and simply you can create the project access token and you get this your new project access token and we have to save it in your notepad so let me copy from here and paste in one notepad so paste here because of see here we get message here Make sure you save it. You won't able to access it again. Okay. That's why we have to save this access token. After that, next step is second. Create setting.xml file in your repository. How we can add this file? So, first me, firstly, let me go to project, home of the project. Or repository and click on here and add the new file give her name as a settings dot xml okay after that you have to add this code let me copy and paste in setting.xml file okay now see here in that setting server id it's gitlab maven okay see it's remember this id gitlab maven because this this id we have to use in our form.xml file okay and after that in that property you always give here token name as a private token okay and here replace with your project access token which where we copied in our notepad so let me copy this access token and paste in here paste and commit the changes all right now we have to add the variable in your repository. So for that, you have to go in the repository and in that repository, in the left side bar, you have to go inside the settings and CSR. Expand this variable and simply you can add the variable, give the variable name as a project. ID and here we have to add enter the value of that project ID and uncheck the flag and add the variable. So firstly we have to copy the project ID. So for that you have to go home page of that repository and here project ID is this. Okay, this one. Let me copy from here and paste in our variable. Again you have to go inside the variable and expand it. And simply you can edit and paste here value of that project ID. Okay. And update the variable. After that, you have to add the publishing details to your maven form.xml configuration. So all this code you have to add in form.xml. 
okay let me copy this file copy this code and go inside that repository or simply code and repository both are same click on form.xml simply click on this edit single file And from here, you have to paste this dependency or distribution management configuration. Okay. And see here, here, this one is ID, which where we mentioned in the settings.xml file. Okay. GitLab may work. Here, same. And here, in the snapshot repository. Okay. And this one is URL. It's a endpoint URL. It's an endpoint URL. And in that endpoint URL, here we have to mention the gitlab.com API and version phone project. And here you have to mention the variable name, which where we created in the variable sections. Okay. So how we can mention this? This one dollar in curly base project ID. Let me copy and change this project ID with this change and again change okay now comment the changes now okay successfully committed after that we have to create the yaml hyphen ci dot gitlab hyphen ci.yaml file okay so for that you have to go inside the repository simply code repository or simply you can go inside from here okay both are same and click on the new file and give the name as a gitlab hyphen ci.yaml and here we have to add the code this one code let me copy and paste here okay so see here in that code this deploy it's a job name it's image in that image we are we are mentioned the may one it's latest version okay after that script script in that script we mention the command as a may one deploy hyphen as settings dot xml this is a xml file name okay and after that only only it's optional okay this these two lines are optional if here we are mentioned the branch name as a main if your branch name is master they can you can mention this master okay after that you have to commit the changes and now you can see the your pipeline so for that you have to go inside the build section and in that build you have to go inside the pipeline and see here your job is running now so go inside that click on this job deploy And let's wait for the running. And see here our job succeeded, build succeeded. Okay. So in this way, we check this, our job is succeeded. Now we have to check the or view the packages in GitLab. So for that, you have to go inside the deploy section. In that deploy section, you can go inside the package registry and in that package registry see here manually published published just now okay and this is our snapshot so click on this and see here this one installation of our form.xml and dependencies block this one okay and which command you can mention this maven command and register setup register setup uh, is this okay 
after that here your app name is my app and group name is com dot my company dot app okay and here inside that number of assets present here as a may one metadata dot xml my app dot pom and here jar file okay this one this is our jar file means our may one packages to gitlab package registry okay so in this way we will learn how to push may one packages to gitlab package registry so thank you for the watching video